everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss uh, a stopwatch example uh, in JavaScript. So this is using again a DOM manipulation concept. So you can see the stopwatch here. So this stopwatch uh, is having three buttons. One is start, stop and reset. Uh, you can start the stopwatch and you can stop it and you can also reset the, the entire uh, stopwatch. So let's see the demo here. When I click on a start, so it starts the, uh, this is gonna be the minutes, this is seconds, and this is gonna be the milliseconds, okay? And then uh, if you wanna click a stop, it stops, okay? When I click on reset, it just reset, okay? When I click again starts, it starts. So once it is started, how many times you click, it will never stop, it will be keep running. So as soon as you click on stop, then only it stops and you click on reset. It's just, uh, I mean, reset back to zero zero. So this is again a, a JavaScript DOM example and the front end we made actually in a bootstrap. So let's make a design first and then uh, then when finish with the JavaScript DOM manipulation. Okay, so let's start with the design part and then we'll see the DOM. So before we start with the design, we need to have a folder structure. So for that, uh, I'll do one thing, uh, this close all, yeah. So folder structure, I just grab the outside folder. I just paste it over here. So let's make this as 22 underscore JS underscore stopwatch. Okay. And here let's modify some uh, uh, headings. Let's make, uh, this is JS stopwatch and the same thing I'll copy and paste it over here and let's make a comment JS stopwatch starts from here let me open this in a browser so back to here I refresh JS stopwatch yeah so let's make a design of this one so this is again a card with the card header and card body which is having three buttons so here uh, first of all, I write uh, container one row single call md6 uh, Inside I write a card so card uh, header and then uh, I write card body So card header I starts with uh, bg primary And let's make some margin top so uh, margin top 3 but I want to keep this at the center of my page. So uh, for column, you can write M auto, so margin auto. And the whole body, I want some dark color. So that you can do it in your style.css body tag. Let's take the background color, let's uh, uh, dark slate, gray color. Okay, fine. And then here, let's make some heading. In the header so let's add h3 js stopwatch and let's keep the text and text white keep it center text center fine uh, so inside the, the card body so let's take uh, a h1 with the class called display Two I'll take and let's make some data so I just write with a span uh, 0 0 okay looks good and uh, colon okay so I just do a same thing for all and last one colon not required yeah so let's keep it center uh, text center Okay, and this one I want to make some IDs because I have to update that from JavaScript. So ID minutes and here is ID seconds and here is an ID M minus seconds. Okay, and uh, we need three buttons here. So let's make the buttons below. So button uh, with a class called BTN BTN minus uh, success button. Let's take uh, it's, it's starch. Okay, uh, if you want to make them rounded, 
you can do one thing in your style or CSS you can say dot btn uh, border radius let's make some 50 pixels okay fine uh, so another button let's three buttons so this is gonna be the btn danger it's gonna be the stop button and this is btn minus warning let's take a reset button okay so we got this and um, okay fine uh, so this is the very basic setup and let's make some more margin top let's make margin top 5 okay so this is actually the setup and in the next video let's start with actually the DOM manipulation so thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you